Ang bilis na tapos ang 2022 and welcome 2023. Happy New Year to all of you guys and I know that everyone is excited for the brand new year. Ang daming phones na nakaline up for next year. Ang daming new gadgets na probably nakikita niyo sa mga leaks. And my, me personally, excited din ako. And I've invited some of our friends from the tech industry to, of course, share us kung ano ang tingin nila was the best. For 2022. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you ano na pili ko rin. Simulan natin. Hi guys, I'm Pastor Richman, Gadget Psychic, and welcome back to my channel. Before we start, I just want to give a quick shout out to our friends from Astrock Philippines for being so supportive to our channel for this year, 2022. It has gone by so fast, and itong buong setup ko no, is basically from Astrock. Kita natin, no? pati wallpaper ginawa na rin natin, Astra. And of course, ang itong jacket na suit-suit ko is also from Astra. Ako personally, nakapang-invite ako ng international tech vlogger to share us ang kanyang view kung what was the best for 2022. The flagship na feel niya should be the number one sa kanya. And of course, sa kanyang channel. Check this out. Hey, what's up? It's Christian from Gadgets LZ. For me, the best phone this 2022 is the Xiaomi 12 Pro. This is my daily driver for seven months now. I love the flexibility of this phone and how reliable it is. Let me give you three reasons why. First reason why is the camera. It takes super clear pictures and video with its triple 50 megapixel rear camera. And the second reason is its design. I find the design elegant with its curved front screen and has a great grip with its curved back. Lastly, it's super fast charging. That will full charge the phone in less than 20 minutes. And those are the three reasons why I'm hooked with this phone. And I was able to get some juicy inputs from some of our famous tech vloggers here in the Philippines. Tech vloggers, tech vloggers alike. And some of them are pretty popular. Some of them probably kilala nyo rin, of course. Some of them probably mga idol nyo rin. So tara, simulan natin. Hi everyone, ako pala si Janos ng Pinoy Tech Dad. Thank you so much, Sir Richmond, for inviting me to collaborate in this video. So the best phone for me in 2022, actually meron akong dalawa. So number one is my daily driver. So this one is the iPhone 14 Pro. I love how compact it is. Napakalakas nitong phone na to for its size. Maganda yung display, maganda yung overall performance, and Number one para sa akin, yung consideration is the camera. Yung video capability nito na 4K 60 frames per second, it's what I use in most of my B-rolls ever since nakuha ko tong phone na to. Pero bukod sa iPhone 14 Pro, ginagamit ko rin madalas itong Google Pixel 7 Pro. And I say the Pro version dahil talagang kinuha ko to for its optical zoom. Before this, ang ginagamit ko talaga is the Xiaomi 12s Ultra dahil meron rin yung 5 times optical zoom that's really nice. But after getting the Pixel 7 Pro, ito na po talaga yung ginagamit ko as my Android system for the video capability as well as the camera for photos. And makikita niyo yan dito sa video samples natin. So there you have it guys, the best para sa akin, iPhone 14 Pro and the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Hi everyone! Ako po si Mark ng Tech Pinas. Kamusta kayo? Happy Holidays and Happy New Year! So ang question sa akin, what is the best phone of 2022? At ang answer ko dyan, simple lang, it's the Cherry Mobile Aqua SV. Okay, so bakit ito yung choice ko, no? Because this phone is priced at only 11999 Pero for that amount, you are going to get several premium, flagship, or high-end features. Isa na nga dyan, syempre, yung magandang design niya. This phone has a faux leather back panel, as you can see here. Sa harap naman niya, meron tong 6.6 inch Full HD+, Plus, get this, AMOLED display that has edge-to-edge -edge curve pa. So, usually nakikita lang natin to sa mga flagship level or premium smartphones, no? pero makukuha niya sa presyo lang na 11,999. Now, pagdating naman sa mga cameras, meron tong quad rear camera module, 64 megapixel main camera, 5 megapixel ultra wide camera, 2 megapixel macro cam, and 2 megapixel depth sensor enabling portrait mode. Sa harap, meron tong dalawang camera dito sa loob ng kanyang pill shaped punch hole. So, ang dalawang camera na yan, 16 megapixel main cam for selfies na napaka crisp and clear, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor that enables portrait mode for your selfies. Now, in terms of internal hardware, 
masasabi nating high-end din ang phone na to. So, meron tong 2.4 GHz octa-core MediaTek Dimensity A10 processor that enables good mobile daily experience and also more than decent gaming performance. So, panalong-panalo siya. It also has 8 gigs of RAM for very smooth multitasking experience and also 128 gigabytes of internal storage. So, pagdating sa internal hardware, panalong panalo rin tong phone na to. Now, for battery and charging, 4,200 mAh lithium polymer battery pack and that supports 30 watts fast charging. So, napakabilis nang i-charge nitong phone na to. And then, to wrap it all up, syempre, it's already 5G enabled which definitely future proofs the Cherry Mobile Aqua SV. So again, lahat ng yan makukuha nyo lang for only 11,999. So pagdating sa value for money, panalong panalo talaga ang Cherry Mobile Aqua SV. And syempre, Tech Pinas is a proudly Pinoy YouTube tech channel and also tech website. Kaya naman, I really support gadgets or tech brands that are also proudly Pinoy. And syempre, isa dyan yung Cherry Mobile. And love natin yung mga friends natin from Cherry Mobile dahil talaga nga namang yung mga produkto nila, tinatry nila maging very competitive and they also offer great after-sales support. So, madali silang lapitan pag nagkaroon ng problema yung mga gadgets na nilalabas nila. And they will really help you and make sure that you will have a great customer experience. So, there you have it. This is my best phone for 2022, the Cherry Mobile Aqua SV. What's up viewers? This is Ted Claudio of What's Up and this 2022 is the best phone na may magandang camera for me is yung Honor 70. So I took it with me sa aking mga travels including the one in Sagada. So napaka impressive nung camera niya. Ang ganda nung uh, normal camera niya, yung 50 megapixels, and even yung ultra-wide camera niya. So, very ideal talaga siya for travel. Kasi napakaganda nung mga photos na lumalabas, and napakagaling nung AI niya, at yung post-processing niya. So, kahit against the light, kahit medyo madilim na, it really gives you good travel photos. So, if you're into travel... And for the budget of less than 30K, the Honor 70 delivers as a great travel phone. So, thank you guys and see you in the next one. Hey, what's up guys? Ian Fuentes here of Pinoy Metro Geek. Well, the best phone for 2022 for me is the one that I actually use. Most of you know that I use an iPhone as my daily driver and personal device. With that being said, the best phone for 2022 for me is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I mean, it's the most refined version of the iPhone today. What I like about the iPhone 14 Pro Max is its unapologetic performance in terms of mobile photography and videography, which to me is very important as a content creator. It's also a very straightforward device, has uncompromising productivity, and the best app ecosystem support for a phone today. I would also like to give shout out for the Galaxy Z Fold 4, which to me is a very interesting device with its unique form factor. I actually used it for a month and I was blown away by the new level of user experience. It's certainly a beast in terms of productivity and it has single-handedly, well together with its Z Flip counterpart, defined the foldable market, or I mean the foldable segment of smartphones. Follow me at Pinoy Metro Geek in Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube. That's all for me geeks, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And of course, how can I forget some of our fans that has been following us the whole year round 2022? I've asked and I've picked some of them to share their comments also. What was their flagship for 2022? Hi, Richmond, the Gadget Sidekick. Congratulations pala sa lahat mga tagumpay mo for 2022. Ako pala si Jaime mula sa Huawei Community. Kung gusto niyo pala sumunod sa mga pages or sa articles ko, dito lang sa Huawei Community ako nagpo-post. Meron din sila sa Facebook page, pero meron din silang dedicated website. Pero sa ano pala, bago magtapos yung taon, gusto ko lang i-share ano yung favorito kong device at yun ay yung latest Mate 50 Pro ng Huawei. Yung ginhawa sa point of shoot experience nito, napakagaling. Alam mo yung feeling na automatic instant results na magamit mo agad ay Ang galing! Kaya sa lahat ng devices ng Huawei na nagamit ko para sa taon ng 2020, eto ang masasabi ko pinakamagaling sa ngayon. 
at pinakamaginhawa sa point and shoot. Instant at maganda agad, lalo na maliwanag yung mga kuha at sa mga skin tones na napaka-pleasy. So Rich One, congratulations ulit sa iyong channel at take care. God bless para sa 2023 at ingat! Bye-bye! Hi guys, this is Brian. Ako yung tatanungin for the best phone of 2022. Gustong gusto ko yung mga locally available dito sa Philippines at uh, all-rounder na smartphone like OnePlus 10 Dahil meron tong uh, 50 megapixel Sony IMX766 na o may OIS or optical image stabilization, uh, Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 na flagship processor, 150 watts na Superbook, uh, fast charger na nasa inside the box na hindi ka titipirin ni OnePlus at meron din tawag 4,800 na miliampere sa battery. So, yung pinaka best smartphone sa akin yan 2022 na all-rounder. At meron din pala akong sariling page. Ang pangalan niya is Bright Plus Tech. So, follow nyo ako. Maraming maraming salamat sa Richmond sa pag-invite sa akin sa paggawa nitong video. Hello guys, this is Tom. Sa Richmond, reach out to me in regards to what uh, the best smartphone in 2022. So, I guess I have to give my own opinion. No bias. Mm, so, para sa akin, ang pinaka may babaw sa lahat is Google Pixel 7 Pro. Yeah. Uh, the reason behind it, it is the smartest smartphone uh, for 2022. Siguro baka matali siya ni Apple pag naglabas na sila ng iPhone 16. But I don't think that would, that would come anytime soon. Eh. So, for me, in 2022, the best smartphone is Google Pixel 7 Pro. Masyadong marami yung, ano, marami yung gusto kong sabihin, pero I only have one minute to explain why it is. But search nyo na lang, then you will know. 60% uh, faster and 20% more efficient than last year. So, yun lang. So, nakita na na lahat ng pinili nilang mga flagship phones for this year, 2022. And ako, I personally have my own choice then. And I know that this one should be globally available. And I was able to pick one na maganda ka ng processor, maganda ka ng camera, definitely a camera should be number one for me. And very, very tough na phone. And I'm talking about the all-new na Huawei Mate 50 Pro na may kundon glass, of course. And this phone was able to amaze me. Ang ganda na ka ng camera, Ang ganda na kanyang pagkuha ng photo and video using the rear camera. I know nagtapos na kanilang partnership with Leica, but this time around, sarili na nila. They are on their own using the XMage na imaging system. And I can say na really nice siya. And it was this year's 2022 number one sa DxO Mark sa camera division for a smartphone. And of course, not only that, ito phone na ito is slim, curve ang kanyang glass, and I love yung kanyang kundun glass. Nakita na naman sa aking video, na tinorture natin ang gusto. Ito phone na ito, si Huawei Mate 50 Pro, and it did survive. I was really amazed. Sabi ko, at some point, this should break. But after several tests na ginawa natin dito, sinuing pa natin, well, walang problema, nag-survive tong phone na ito. And this is the, exactly the same phone na tinorture natin for that video. So kaya guys, ano tingin nyo should be your best phone for 2022? Comment on the comment section below with the proper hashtag Gadget Psyche Giveaway 2022 and stand the chance to win one of this Wiko T10 na sponsored sa atin na Wiko. Thank you nga pala, Wiko Philippines, for giving us this phone for our giveaway. And I'll be picking the winner in one week time after ko ma-upload tong video na ito. And that's a wrap for 2022. I wish every one of you guys a happy new year and I hope na makuha nyo ang gusto nyo last Christmas and hopefully, something better and brighter ahead of you this coming 2023. Yes, kung nagustuhan nyo mga napanood nyo dito na video from our other tech vloggers here. And if you like this video guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click the bell icon para hindi nyo mamimiss mga future uploads dito sa aking channel. And so, ako pala si Richmond and you're watching Gadget Psyche. What's up?